Thank you. Thank you. You know, I've got some remarks that I want to talk about, but before I do, I want to introduce them to you personally. You have met the best friend I have in the world. She's standing right here, my wonderful wife, Jackie. Please say hello. And behind me, for the first time, I want, to see, I want you to see firsthand, this is what I fight for every day, and this is what we believe in, our kids. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, fellow Republicans, to the next chapter in the history of our great party in this great state. Thank you for being here. Thanks to all the moms. Thank you for life. Thanks to all our military service men and women, and thank you so much to your families. Thank you for all you do to protect our great nation and our freedom. Thank you. Thank you to all the entrepreneurs and to you, the working men and women that are the lifeblood of this state and our country. Thank you for loving our state and our freedom. And thank you for making the sacrifice to become a delegate and to be here to endorse the next governor of the state of Minnesota. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to embark on a great journey. Together, we will not only endorse and elect the next governor of Minnesota, but today, we begin a journey to take back our state and take back our country. It has been said, to whom much is entrusted, much is expected. We have been entrusted with the flame of freedom, and while that flame still flickers, we have the opportunity and the obligation to spark it anew. But we cannot afford to wait. We can no longer be quiet. The time is upon us to engage. We can no longer just hope and pray for this great country and our beloved Minnesota. Now is the time to act. While some people prefer to look backward and to point fingers and assess blame when talking about how we got here, how we came to this point in time when government has literally invaded every aspect of our life, we will look forward and we will set a course for where this state needs to be. Now is the time to put Minnesota back on the road to prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, now is also the time for a new style of leadership. Leadership that is based on principles, our principles, of smaller government, individual liberty, and economic freedom. Leadership that will change the culture of government and that, when applied, will transform the relationship between government and the people in a way that will unleash our competitive spirit and create the opportunity, opportunity for individual achievement and success that will send us roaring down the road to prosperity. We must redesign government to work for us, the people. And that is why I am so pleased to have Annette Meeks as our Lieutenant Governor. Annette has literally written the book on redesign of government. I've said it before and I will say it again. Folks, now is the time for bold, honest, and selfless leadership all across this country and in this great state of Minnesota. Now is the time to be inspired and for inspiration. Now is the time more than ever to leave behind politics as usual and politicians as usual. We, we must no longer, we must no longer tolerate political games. We need leaders who have a lifetime of experience outside of government, leaders with the strength of character and commitment to stand up to politics as usual, leaders who will be strong in the face of adversity, leaders who will never bend from the truth of their convictions, leaders who will selflessly suffer personal attacks on their honor and integrity by liberal media and those who seek to protect government and their personal political aspirations. Simply put, we need servant leaders who will negotiate on behalf of the people and not on behalf of government, and we need leaders who will unite us and not divide us.
Thank you. Now, now is the time to put our faith in the spirit of good and the goodness of the people of Minnesota. Now is the time for a new beginning in this state, a renaissance of American freedom. Thanks to the work ethic instilled by my parents and the drive to compete and succeed that I learned growing up in this great state, I had the opportunity to work in the lumber yard, I drove the delivery trucks, I worked construction, I ran the jackhammer and I poured cement. I also put myself through law school by working during the day and going to school at night and I started my own business in 1995. My experience is real life experience and I believe that if we are going to transform, thank you, I believe that if we are going to transform government in this state and create an environment that is attractive to investment and opportunity, if we are going to put Minnesota back on the road to prosperity, the next governor should have first-hand experience with the daily challenges of running a small business and creating jobs. I know, I know the satisfaction of doing good work and creating jobs. I started my own business at the age of 34 at a one-room office that cost me $300 a month. I accepted the risk on my own initiative and with Jackie and at that time our four young children. Incredibly, we fed ourselves, we clothed ourselves, we took care of ourselves through all the challenges that we faced. We have experienced life outside of government firsthand. We've known the occasional strain of meeting a payroll and we've known the occasional pain of not getting a paycheck in order to pay our employees. This is real life experience that will serve us well if you give us the opportunity to take on the politics and business as usual interests in St. Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, I told, I told you, I told you it's time for inspiration. We must win in November. Minnesota's future is counting on us. More importantly, our children are depending on us. Republicans are the only real hope for a return to prosperity. Yes, the media and many of them are here today. They have fun calling Republicans the party of no. But there is no shame in saying no to bad ideas. The reality... The reality... The reality is that we Republicans are the party of yes. We say yes to quality jobs that are created and sustained by the private sector. We say yes to an education system that is actually about students and student achievement and not about serving the wants and desires of an all too powerful union. We say yes to a responsible government that lives by the same budget rules as its citizens. Folks, you cannot spend what you do not have. We say yes to lower taxes, yes to lower taxes, to leave more money in the pockets of the people that actually earn it, you. And we say yes, we say yes to using sound business management to root out and eliminate government programs that are inefficient, bloated and bureaucratic. And finally, we say yes to shaking up politics as usual in the state of Minnesota. And with your help, I will be the governor of yes. We... Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will win next November, and we will work tirelessly and selflessly to help elect every candidate who respects the truth the truth that government by the people and for the people should, gall darn it, start listening to the people. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie and I humbly ask for your help and support. Please help us. God bless you for caring. God bless you for being here. God bless the great state of Minnesota, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Yeah.